It seems like Rockstar's parent company, Take Two Interactive, is ready to talk about Grand Theft Auto 6 marketing plans as they release a letter to a hotel in Miami. My name is Shite Pups here, and I'm going to be going over where this hotel actually is in Miami. Is this letter fake? And what history we have with Rockstar and their marketing for new AAA titles. So let's get right into today's video. So again, you probably know of this letter already as it's been making its way around the internet for the last week and a half to two weeks, maybe even three weeks by the time um, you've seen this video or even see the leaks. Now, this was first posted on the Gaming Leaks and Rumors page by an account on there that, ironically enough, the has been deleted and they only made an account like a day or so ago before they actually published the letter and let's dive into the letter right now as you can see it has a take to interactive software inc business card on that and you can see the name of the director of channel marketing is blocked out but uh, you can also see an email of his that is blocked out as well. And you can see this is coming from New York, where Take Two Interactive's headquarters is being sent out to the Guild downtown 230 NE4 Street, Miami, Florida, United States. We'll be going over that location, too. And it says, Dear the Guild, we hope that this message finds you well. We would like to reach out to you regarding an advertising opportunity on your property. The Guild downtown located in Miami. Specifically, we are interested in placing the advertising poster on the exterior side of the parking garage that is visible from the Biscayne Boulevard. Our aim is to promote a AAA game from one of our sub tires for a period of 12 months on that side of the parking garage from late summer 2023. We believe that this partnership would not only increase our brand exposure, but also increase exposure of a hotel property. The location we are proposing is highly visible, providing us with a perfect platform to promote the game. We are willing to cover all costs associated with placement of the poster, including insulation, maintenance, and removal. We ensure you that the advertisement will be in line with the building's aesthetic and meet all necessary standards. Moreover, we are willing to collaborate with you to design a poster that, that complements the building design and the architecture. Please let me know if you inquire any further information or have any concerns regarding our proposal, even if these periods would be reserved. We are excited about the opportunity to collaborate with you on this project and to get into more detail. We look forward to hearing back from you soon. Best regards. And you can see it, a name that is blocked out and take to interactive software. So let's actually talk about if this letter is real or fake. Again, people in the community are leaning towards this letter being fake and I kind of agree on that but there are some options or some wording of lettering that is kind of makes this being real first being there is a take to interactive uh, business card on there no logo but there's actually a name associated with the director channel marketing and his name is actually Paul Paul Switersker and if you actually look at his LinkedIn profile that is actually real, you can see that he's the director channel marketing at Take Two Interactive Software in the New York metropolitan area. He actually went to school at Pennsylvania State University, Erie campus. Uh, I'm a huge Penn State uh, college football fan. And his about page is business oriented marketing leader with a proven track record of success in achievement in marketing strategy and protect marketing. 10 plus years of experience working in the video game slash entertainment in industry. Assisted the release of over 90 titles, including Growth Photo 5, Red Dead Redemption, Borderlands 3 NBA 2K series, and collaborating with entertainment industries such as NBA, WWE, Microsoft, and Sony. So we know this person is a real life person that works for marketing. 
So it's either coming from this guy or the person that made this uh, found the director of channel marketing and put his name. Again, it looks like they want to display this on the side of the building, which makes sense. And a building that will fit a poster like these posters that Take-Two Interactive and Rockstar Games has done in the past with GTA or Grand Theft Auto 5. You can see their uh, po announcement poster or marketing poster on a side of a building. And then you have Red Dead Redemption's uh, marketing poster on a side of a building. So that's what Rockstar likes to do. They like to go on side of a buildings to advertise their uh, AAA games or new games that are going to be announced. And that totally makes sense. What does make sense is they want to run this for 12 months starting in late summer 2023, which would be this year and would actually be at a good timing for an announcement. We think that uh, Take-Two Interactive from Rockstar Games are supposed to announce this game at the end of this year, uh, beginning probably from months ranging from August to October. So, Late summer, would that be August, September? Yeah, uh, technically, but we are getting into the fall months. So that could make sense. And they want to make this highly visible, providing a perfect platform to promote the game. Again, this Grand Theft Auto 6 game is going to be one heck of a game. They want to have the best marketing and it kind of makes sense to bring out a letter to send it down to the Miami area at this hotel and probably maybe some other hotels around their parking garages or wherever to get this game out there. Again, they want to make marketing in the area where the game is going to be based mostly off of. So is this real or fake is most likely fake just regarding the wording and stuff like that it could be a little professional but then there's a side of me that this could be true and this was actually sent to the guild downtown but kind of also looks like that this was just printed on microsoft word and someone decided just to type this up now regarding the location of the guild downtown this is actually a real hotel in the heart of Miami. You can see what this would look like. You can see uh, it would go on the left-hand side of this picture is where the parking garage is. That's where the uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 advertisement poster would look like. And then on the right there, you can see that's where the actual hotel of or apartments whichever it is that people live at or stay at would be right next to it. So it's a good idea if this was real or realistic or fake that you would have it down in this area and it would be a good advertisement. Now, we know from the past when GTA 6 was first leaked, there was an actual real life image that was um, turned out to be true, kind of looks just like the one that we just looked at from Take Two Interactive regarding how they are going to be having people coming out to Miami to do a uh, research crew uh, to do some scouting locations for the game. This was probably pre, not even pre alpha, but when they wanted to know where they wanted to have this game in Vice City. And this ended up being true. It kind of looks like the same and it has the email it has the person with the location managing scouting that uh, take to interactive has dealt with so this makes it hard to believe that the letter we just went with is true but again most of the community does think it's fake so I wonder if you guys in those comment section down below, do you think this marketing letter for Grand Theft Auto 6 coming from Take-Two Interactive, is this real or fake? And why is it real or fake? I want to hear from you in those comment section down below. So again, if you did enjoy today's video, like running will be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Pusher channel for more videos like this. My name is Pup here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.